us try an example on the Magnol diagram. The question asks us to construct the Magnol diagram for the pre-stress beam given at its mixed band. Determine the range of pre-stressing load at the largest possible eccentricity of 450 mm in the beam sections. These are the details given. The span is 12 meter long. The short term losses will be 10% and the long term losses will be 25% of the checking force. The GK and QK will be 3 and 5 kN per meter square. Concrete grade 40 is being used. The member is a pre tension beam. The partial pre stressing method is being used. And the FCI is considered as two-thirds of the FCK. You may pause the video for a while for you to work out the solution. You know that in order to construct the Magnol diagram, you will require at least four formula. These formulas are derived from the basic stress equations of the beam. Within the formula here, you will need to substitute the value of the alpha and beta, gamma superior and gamma inferior, the geometrical property such as area and z top and z bottom, as well as the moment, m minimum and m maximum. Also, the question states that it is a partial pre-stressing. That means you need to substitute the FCTM also. Therefore, in order to draw the Magnol diagram, you need to first find the relevant value. First, you need to analyze the geometrical properties for you to determine the Z top and Z bottom. As we are using the same sections as from the previous example, the computations for the section modulus will be the same. For more detail, you may refer from the previous video. Similarly, the computations of the M maximum and M minimum will also be the same, which has already been discussed in the previous example. Now that you have all the relevant values, including the FCTM at the transfer and SCTM at the service, which is calculated from this formula. For the FCTM at the transfer, you will substitute the two-third of FCK value here into the formula. As for the service, the FC here will be 40. Substitute all the relevant value into the equation here. This eventually will become for equation here in the format of straight line. The equation states that the largest possible eccentricity is 450mm. This will be the fifth line where E maximum is 450mm. From the equation here, you may take the 1 per P as the Y axis while the eccentricity as the X axis. That gives you that the Y axis as Y per P and the X axis as the eccentricity. Now start drawing the lines. This will be the first line, second line, third line and then fourth line. The fifth line will be a vertical line at the locations of E equals to 450. The question asks us to determine the range of pre-stressing load when the eccentricity is equal to 450. To do so, we need to first to determine the feasible regions on the Magnol diagram. We will have to look at the feasible range of the line one by one. Now let us first look at the first line here, which is this. 
the symbol here is looking at one per p which is higher than the line therefore we are looking at this region starting from the line here as for the second equation which is line 2 it is also looking of 1 per p which is higher than the line the line 2 is here we are looking at this region for the third line which is this line it is also greater we are looking at this region and for the line 4 which is this line the symbol now is less and equals to that means the feasible regions will be below the line now you need to identify a regions that fulfill all the requirements the shaded regions will be the feasible region as long as the proposed P and E's are within this shaded region the section should pass the question asks us to determine the applicable range of precessing load when the eccentricity is equal to 450 it happens to be on the line of this 450 the applicable range of P will be in between these two as the y axis is in the form of 1 per p the larger the value of the inverted p will result in smaller pre-stressing force while the smaller the value will lead to a larger pre-stressing force therefore we know that this point will result in a minimum pre-stressing force and this point will result in the maximum applicable pre-stressing force in the member the next question is to obtain the point it is by finding the intersections between line 4 and line 5 and also line 2 and line 5 to do so you will need to do simultaneous solutions for the two set of equations which is line 4 and line 5 as listed here substitute E into the equations you are able to determine the P the P minimum is found to be 1016.5 kN and then you find the intersections of line 2 and line 5 based on these two equations substitute the E into the equation here you get your P maximum equals to 1675.9 kN from here you know that the applicable range of P will fall in between 1016.5 to 1675.9 kN with the eccentricity of 450 any value in between this is applicable for the member and this demonstrates the applications of the Magnell diagram what you see here the Magnell diagram is not necessarily always bounded by its eccentricity some may have already set the pre-tensioning force then you need to draw a horizontal line at the pre-stressing force and find the applicable range of eccentricity a similar concept is applied the bottom line is your selected points have to fall within the feasible regions of the Magnell diagram it is always a good practice for you to check the stress limit again after you have proposed PME based on the Magnell diagram the checking has to be made on every critical sections of the beam which for a simply supported beam it will be at least at the mid span and also at the support